it's Holly here from Your Past is a Gift. Okay, so staying with the previous topic of what you believe in about yourself. Okay, so many times in our childhood, we may have an adult that says that we are something. Okay, and they may repeat this many, many, many times. Now, the funny thing is, <laughs> we always have two options. Okay, we can decide that yes, we are that must be true because if they're telling us that every five minutes then we must be there or you know some people decide I'm not that and I'm gonna prove to you that I'm not that and they get out of their way to prove that they're not that either way whether you believe that you are or you believe that you're not who you are doesn't change it doesn't change whether you believe, you know, whether you believe that you're smart or not, doesn't change who you really are inside. And so I think if you sit with that for a minute, whether you believe that you're pretty or not, or handsome or not, whatever the word is, for, attractive or not, whether you look good on the outside, your body, someone keeps telling you that you're unattractive, whether you believe that or not, doesn't change who you are on the inside. Who you are. I'm talking about that little soul that's pure, that was brought into the world. To love. To be joy. To be all the wonderful things that you meant to be. You see, many times adults will say something to you because that's how they feel about themselves. And if they tell you often enough that you're stupid, it's because they feel that they are stupid. Because I can promise you, you know, in my lifetime, I've never been told that I'm stupid, you know, but I was always pretty good at school, you know, so I've always grown up believing that I'm quite capable, you know, when it comes to schoolwork and academic and exams and all these things. I can do it. I have no doubt. Whatever I put my mind to, study, I can achieve it. But that doesn't change who I am inside. You know? And you can have a parent telling you all the time you're stupid. And you can grow up thinking that you're stupid and that you're not capable of learning and that you're not capable of achieving wonderful things. But that's still not who you are. You see, because when we're born, we are born pure love. We are born pure joy. And we are pure peace. We don't know anything else. What happens along the way that pushes us away from all of that, of our natural state, of who we really, really are, all these beliefs that we keep grabbing onto push us away from who we really, truly are meant to be. And so these beliefs push us away and they make us go into all these areas of we have to prove that we are, or we have to prove that we're not. But none of that is who you are. Whether you're smart or not, doesn't matter. Whether you're the most attractive person in your classroom or not, or in your school or not, doesn't matter doesn't matter at the end of the day. None of that matters. And the problem is, we spend so much time focusing on all of that, that we forget what really matters. We forget what's important because we're too busy looking at all of that outside. We're too busy looking at what we're not, what we should be, what we should be doing to get to, you know, to achieve that. So we're not that anymore. And none of that has to do with who you really are inside. None of that. And because you keep focusing on all of that and thinking that that's the most important, all this outside stuff, is that you're miserable. You're never happy. You're never satisfied. It's never enough. And it's because you've moved away from your natural state of who you truly are supposed to be. What you do 
in your life is not who you were. What you do for a living, I'm talking about. That's not who you are inside, who you really are, your soul. You know, and many times, because we have all these beliefs that we're not good enough in one way or another, we don't allow others in. We don't connect with other people. We use all of these things as no, as a barrier. You can't get close, you can't, no. I won't let you in. Because you're gonna see all my defects. You're gonna see all the things that I'm not good at. You're gonna see that I'm not good enough. That I'm not worthy. Because of whatever it is, whether you're not smart enough, whether you're not sporty enough, whether you're not attractive enough, whatever it is, whatever that belief is that you've taken on, you're not allowing your light to shine. This little light that you've been given inside of you, there's that beautiful song of this, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. and you'll see others that are struggling. They may look like they got it all, but they're struggling. They're trying to prove themselves to someone. They're trying to win someone's approval. They don't realize that they're good enough just as they are. They're good enough as they are. They don't need to be all these other things. You know, to deserve love, to deserve to be happy worthy of all that. You are beautiful just as you are. And the day you see that, you can start to let go of all these other beliefs that are external, that are outside of you, of who you really are. You're in here and you're looking at yourself like you're out here and that's not who you are. You'll see one day. I'll go on to it in the next video. I'll talk to you a bit more about it but one day you'll realize you'll have all this stuff. You'll have this degree. You'll go sit on top of a mountain. None of that will show you who you really are. It's all inside of you. But you think, we keep thinking it's out there. We've got to look for it out there. And it's not out there. All right, my darling. I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.